Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a video slider using Slider Revolution plugin. Slider Revolution is one of the best plugins to create sliders, carousals, hero sections, or you can also create one page website using the Slider Revolution plugin. This is not a free plugin. However, if you want to create professional slider, you can buy this plugin. The pricing for this plugin is also good. You will get this plugin around 40 or 45 dollars per year for a single website website in which you will get access to WordPress plugin. You will also get 250 plus templates. You will also get 25 plus add-ons, instant updates, documentation, visual editor, and all the sliders will be responsive. So if you want to create professional slider for your WordPress website, you can definitely consider using this plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can install this plugin and how to use this plugin. In another video, I have shown you how you can import the templates and add-ons and how you can use templates to create sliders in another video I have shown you how you can create a responsive slider using slider revolution plugin if you want to watch these videos I'll give you the links in the description box you can watch these videos if you want to buy this plugin I'll give you the link in the description box if there is any discount coupon code I'll mention that in the description box in this video we are going to create a video slider using slider revolution plugin here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website this is a demo website that I have created using Elementor template and I'm using InstaWP platform to create demo websites. I have already published a video on how to use the InstaWP platform. If you are a website design company or a freelance website designer, you can consider using InstaWP platform where you can create temporary WordPress website or you can also use it like hosting server. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Let's go back to the dashboard here in the left hand panel you will see slider revolution i have already installed this plugin and after installing this plugin you will see this option here slider revolution you can create a video slider using the pre-designed template or you can also create a video slider from the scratch let me first show you how you can create a video slider using the pre-designed template here you will see an option new module from template so you need to click on it and after that you can search for a specific template to create a slider here you can search for let's say video slider we are going to look for the video sliders you can see that there are some templates which are already available you can use any one of these templates for example i have already imported this template and i have already created a slider using this template let me show you here you will see it here let me show you how does this look click on preview and this is how this video slider looks you can see a video is running in the background if i click on next it will go to the next slide and there is another video for the next slide also now if you want to use this layout you can use this layout you can customize this template and you can add your own videos there if you want to edit you can simply go to the slider and click on edit it will open that template and from there you can customize this video slider so close this one so this is the slider you will see there are five different slides already created if you do not want any one of these slides you can simply select the slide and delete it from here currently we are on the first slide and here you can customize this slide for example this is the first slide if you want to change the background you can simply go to this option background Currently, it is using HTML5 video. If you want to change the video, if you have this video on YouTube, you can simply select YouTube from here and add the YouTube URL for this video. If you have a video, you can also upload the video. Select HTML5 and go to Media Library. From here, you can upload your video and it will be saved in the Media Library and you can use it as a background video. So this is for the background video. Now let's say if you want to change this title, you can simply select that title and from here you can change the title. Go to this title, from here you can customize the content. Then we have content here, you can customize this one. If you do not want any one of these contents, you can simply select that one and you can delete that one. So it is very easy to customize the elements which are available on the pre-designed template. So you can use the pre-designed template to create a video slider. Okay, so from here you can change the animation. I have a detailed video on how to use the slider. 
you can watch that video if you want to know how to customize it how to change the animation on the video okay so for example this is the big headline so you will see the big big headline here and for this big headline we have some animation here if i go to animation you will see the animation settings for this particular headline okay so i'm not going to make any changes here let's go back and try to create a video slider from the scratch and i'll show you how you can put the video in the background so let's go back to overview slider revolution let's leave the page okay let's close this one and this is the pre-designed template now we are going to click on new blank module click on it and it is going to create a new slider with blank module okay let's close this one okay so we are on the dashboard to create a slider if i go to slides currently we have only one slide here and this is the slide on which we are going to work so these are the basic settings for this slider first we will go to background and we will use video in the background so let's click on the background this is the background option and currently it is set to transparent you will see transparent background is there click on the drop down if you want to use image you can use the image if you want colors you can also use color you can change the color from here so this is the background color okay now we are looking for a video if you have video on youtube you can simply select youtube video and here you can add the video id and it will play the video similarly if you have a vimeo video you can select it and enter the id for the video and it will play the video let's say i have a video which is already uploaded in the media library or i want to upload it so i'm going to select html5 and select media library from here now i have it already uploaded so i'm going to click on media library uh, let's say i want to use this video as a background so i'm going to select that one and it will be used as a background okay so this is what it shows here if i scroll down you will see poster image get start frame so it will use the image of the start frame as the poster image if you are using youtube video then you can also select the thumbnail of the video or you can also select the first start frame as the poster image if you want to use a custom image you can go to media library upload the image or you can select the image from media library okay so i have selected get start frame below that we have image from stream if exist all right so i am not going to make any change source type will be original size so this is for the poster image so i'm going to keep it as it is let's scroll down video fit cover these are the html5 settings video fit cover it will cover the screen aspect ratio will be 16 by 9 if you want to change you can change it to 4 by 3 pause timer during play if you are using a timer then you can pause the timer during playing the video loop media is currently on so it is going to keep on looping start after slide transition if you are using transition between slides then it will start after the transition of the slide next slide at the end is turned off rewind at start is on overlay if you want to use overlay you can use the overlay so here we have set the video as a background now on this video you can add some layers let's go to layers let's say i want to use text layer so i'm going to click on text layer let's add some heading here let's increase the size so this is the text that we have used as a layer you can change the size you can also change the color let's make it bold these are the style settings for this particular text size and position content animation all right let's go to animation let's add some animation for this one in animation let's say later transition all right so this is the animation for this particular content or the text then let's add one more layer now if you want to add a video on the slide itself then you can also add video on the slide so there will be one video playing in the background and we are going to add a block for the video which will be over the background so i'm going to select a video here all right let's close this one let's drag it and drop it here let's change the position let's increase the size also for this video and put it here all right so we have a title here and this is the video now for this video we are going to change the settings 
click on this video go to content and i want to play youtube video so i'm going to select a youtube video here and i need to enter the id for the youtube video so i'm going to enter the id for one of the youtube videos all right so this is the id of one of the youtube videos and it will be shown here for the aspect ratio i have selected 16 by 9 if you want you can turn on the autoplay or you can turn off the autoplay i'm going to keep it as turn on for now and below that we have poster from the stream if exists now here we can add poster image as it is youtube video i have a thumbnail for this video so i'm going to select youtube thumbnail so it will show the thumbnail of this particular video if you want you can also upload the poster image all right so leave it as it is poster in pause it is turned off no poster on mobile only poster on mobile so if you want only the poster image on the mobile you can turn it on otherwise you can keep it as it is use it as a video you can also add overlay stop other media if you have multiple medias then it is going to stop other media when this video is playing allow full screen is on pause timer during the play let's say if your slide has a time of nine seconds and after nine seconds it is going to show the another slide now what is going to happen after nine seconds if the video is already playing this video the top video is already playing then it is going to switch to the next slide and it will stop the video now in that case what you can do you can turn this option on pause timer during the play so it will pause the timer of the slide when this video is playing right so once the video is finished it is going to start the timer again and it will go to the next slide once the timer is finished next slide at the end is on rewind at the start is on no interaction so these are some settings if you want to add controls on the video you can enable this option inline mode is available mute at start is also on okay if you do not want to mute it you can simply turn it off and it will start with the audio all right now let's scroll up and let's add some animation for this one also now for the in i'm going to add let's say pop-up all right let's use this one all right now let's save it and see how does this look click on preview Alright, so you can see that there is an animation, you have seen the animation for this content, then you have this video already playing. Now the background video is not playing. Why? Because this video is already playing. So that's why the background video is not playing. Now let's close this one and go to the settings of this video. And I'm going to turn off the autoplay here. So now when the slide comes in, it is not going to play this video. It is going to play the background video. Let's save it. And click on preview. All right. Now you can see that the background video is playing and the video on top is not playing. So this is how you can manage the controls of the video. If you have multiple videos in a single slide, if I play this video, it will stop the video in the background and this video is started. Let's close this one. Let's see if we can enable the control of this video. Let's turn on the control and currently it is mute. Turn off the mute, save it. And let's click on preview. Again, you can see that the background video is playing and now i'm going to play this video and the mute is turned off hello and welcome to quick tips the wordpress video series now here you can see that we have controls of this video these are the youtube controls that you can use on the video itself all right let's close this one now, if you want, you can also add multiple slides with the video background or videos on top of the background. If you want to duplicate this first slide, you can simply go to the slide and here you will see the option to duplicate. It is going to duplicate the same slide here. So now we are on the second slide. Let's go to background and change the background video for the second slide. I'm going to use another video. I have one more video here. 
all right and all the other settings will remain as it is we have created two different slides here let's save it now you can play with the animation settings of the title videos buttons or the slides we can also add some transition for the slide let's go to settings here go to layout now let's see the default settings of the slide we are using it as a slider it will be full width you will see the width and the height of the slider advanced settings are there overlay for the entire slider. this is for the entire slider not for the single slide then we have contained defaults general setting these are the general settings for this slider let's go to navigation we do not have any navigation here so i'm going to enable progress bar then enable arrows and enable bullets all right now let's save it and let's see how does this look we need to add the transition also now here you will see the transition preset i'm going to select four columns let's use this one for this slide and for the second slide we will change the transition preset let's use boxes save it let's preview all right so now you will see the background video then title then we have the second slide and for the second slide we have another video you can see that it is rotating automatically it is changing the slides automatically all right so it is very easy to customize the settings of the slider you can easily create video slider using slider revolution plugin if you think it is difficult you can also use the pre-designed templates to create the video slider for your wordpress website so if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.